Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got a run play scheme for you today. A trick run play scheme out of an alternate playbook. We're using the run and gun. And I'm going to show you guys a really cheesy uh, you know, run formation that I don't necessarily think that I'm trying to encourage you guys to use online. But say you got to beat some solos or something. Uh, this is going to be perfect for that. So we're going to go ahead and go right into it. Uh, it's out of the Wildcat. Like I said, I'm in the run and gun play because the Wildcat has a few more uh, run plays than your typical. I think like the Browns have a Wildcat and um, you know there's a couple playbooks that have the Wildcat in them but they typically only have like three or four plays. This particular one has six which is why I'm using that but if you, uh, the majority of them like I said you can find in most playbooks uh, that have the Wildcat so if you have a favorite playbook that has the Wildcat it probably has them. The ones that are most important and I'll go ahead and I'll show them all in the uh, audible screen even though you can't even audible in this formation because it's so like I said trick play formations like this are so glitchy you can't even make adjustments you have to just run them as is. Uh, but ultimately, the plays are going to be the counter, the blast, the jet sweep, and the power. Those are the best. I wouldn't say the passing plays are really worthwhile. Unless you have a really good uh, quarterback or, or running back receiver, whatever, that has the ability uh, to throw the ball, which is pretty you know, uncommon. Not, I don't even think that the best like former quarterbacks that are playing receiver really have good, run, good ability to throw the ball. So that's kind of a waste of time in my opinion. But ultimately, the run plays are really where it's at. If you really want to get it to the point where you have your fastest player on the team uh, in this package, all you really have to do is hit the right stick over until you get receiver at quarterback and that'll put your number one receiver at quarterback so i'm using the sean jackson i think that he's a good option a lot of people i've seen uh, the guy that was i was that was playing me was using tyreek hill and oh my god was that annoying uh, but ultimately um this is going to be the setup so we'll go ahead and we'll pick this play by play because like i said you don't really have the option to do audibles so i'm going to pick the power because i think that's the best one on the defensive side we're just going to pick random four three to me the most important thing when it comes to running this formation is hesitating enough that your block set up because if you run run too early you're going to run into the tacklers before the blocks really get their, to their jobs so you really want to lay off the sticks don't hit the sprint button nothing like that until those blocks set up once they set up then you can see there's just nothing but uh, but run lanes but you really have to hesitate until those blocks set up and that's why a lot of people i think wouldn't run this online i think a lot of people are really too quick to hit the guns to make this place successful um, but you can see once those blocks set up i mean there's really a lot of uh, stuff that you can do and like I said, I mean when you have speed and you have the agility of Deshaun Jackson You do a lot of sticky stuff with this so we'll go ahead and we'll do this one more time Like I say you can really see where this is. I don't really think that it, it, Like right there. It was actually pulling me in which is one of the things you really have to like you can't lay off the sticks entirely You have to pull back because it really pulls you like it, it pulls you in the direction of the animation Which is fine because I definitely want to go outside but ultimately, that's not always where the best run lane is. Sometimes you really want to go inside a little bit more than that. And the designed animation can really pull you into an area you don't want to go. So like I said, it's really important to kind of just like pull up. And, and right there, I mean, that was, that, I probably should have let that last block set up. But you can see how important that is. So like I said, definitely want to hesitate. Definitely want to pull back on the sticks um, just till your blockers get set up. And then boom, hit the gas. You know what I mean? Like right there. I mean, this is just, you know what I mean? This is just like... <laughs> it's super cheesy man like I said this is definitely one of the better ways to go so just to hammer that point home like I said you almost want to, to almost pull back on the sticks and come to a stop let those blocks set up that's really gonna be one of the most important things and then you can see how this is gonna be a very explosive run consistently if you do that now there's not a lot you can't make audibles uh, you can't switch plays during the uh, the actual uh, before the play like a quarterback could which is probably for the best because this that would make this impossible to stop um, but the next play would be the counter. This would be the best play to run opposite that motion because your opponent's probably going to key in on that. So we'll go ahead again, pick four through random. Ultimately, if your opponent starts to shift to the left or starts to shift to the, you know, start blitzing safeties to the side uh, where the where the count where the uh, where the run play is going, that's going to be when you want to hit them with the counter because ultimately they're going to be out of position. 
So anytime your opponent over commits to the to the motion side, that's going to be when you can really hit this to the other side. And the hole's not always going to be the outside. A lot of times it's going to be right up the middle. I was going for that there. The first play is definitely the most explosive in the series. This one's probably the second. And like I said, it definitely has its function. You can see right there. Once all the blocks set up, you just you just take it to the outside. That's really the most important part is letting those blocks get in tight. As far as the jet sweep goes, you're losing a blocker. Um, it's essentially the same as the power, but ultimately you, you have one less blocker because this this running back was the was the blocker. So ultimately it's still a good play, but ultimately it's not as good. Like I said, the power is best because you have the most blocking on it. And this is something that you can still have very consistent. Like I'm going to get probably 5 to 10 every time out of this. It's definitely a good play to run just to keep your opponent honest. Uh, but ultimately this is not, um, you know, it's not as good as the power. The power is the best way to go. I probably should have stretched that out a little further. One of the best ways to stop these plays would be uh, a spread look, like a double safety blitz. Um, if that happens, the blast is probably one of the better ways to counter that as well. So if your opponent comes out, like I said, spreading out your defense and hitting some outside safety blitzes are going to be one of the best ways to stop this. If they do that, then you can hit them with the blast. So ultimately, it's not going to be an explosive run like the other runs, but it's definitely going to be a consistent run. So if your opponent's doing that, you don't have to go outside. You can just basically hit them right up the middle, and you can get very consistent runs that way. So there's definitely counters. That's the thing about this. You can't alternate plays when you're at the line, but if you know what they're doing ahead of time, there's counters to everything in this formation. And then last but not least, if your opponent is run committing, you have some pass plays. I really think if against if for a run commit, the best pass play is probably going to be the PA jet sweep. And that's because the tight end does the deepest route. So if your opponent run commits, you can try to get it to the, uh, the corner route there, the tight end, uh, which ultimately is going to be the deepest route. You can catch and run and make some plays happen. But in my opinion, the best play against regular defenses is going to be the PA jet cross. Like I said, throwing the ball is not going to be practical. But you have some short routes here that you can really try to get out. Like this here would be ultimately like a screenplay to the running back. Um, you know, you have a blocker coming across with him. But ultimately, like I said, this is all about the run plays. You can do this just to keep your opponent honest. But this is not definitely going to be practical. And like I said, if you get uh, if you get this out quick enough and you have enough side space to the side of the field, you can see you can get it to your running back and make a big play. So I'm going to go ahead and do that once or twice more. Like I said, the hardest part is a lot of times you got to get this out quicker as you run into the sideline. And then, like I said, I mean, you can see if the blocking sets up, you have a very consistent play, which is essentially a, a little bit of a, um, a, 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 a one-man screen here uh, to the running back if you can get this out in time. So let's go ahead and let's do this one more time. Like I said, I'm not really waiting for that block to set up. But you can see you can make a play out of this. And this is about the only distance that any, anybody's going to realistically be able to make the pass consistently anyway uh, but you can see if that block gets out and sets up i mean you can really have a big play out of this especially if they're run committing that's the most important part if there's if your opponent run commits at all um you can get this play out uh before they really uh even know what's going on and then like i said if that block if that block seals that edge you can go up the sideline pretty quick so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there if you guys want to see more stuff like this more plays like this or more alternate playbooks let me know in the comment section with the like button other than that thanks for watching man i wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below